What's going on guys, it's your boy Feel Free HD, and today I'm back with a brand new video. The topic of this video will be my take on the current Tony Pulis situation as the manager of West Brom. Before I get into this video, make sure to drop a like rating on this video and subscribe if you haven't already. Feel free to comment your input and your opinions on the situation. Yeah, we going in again, this is that intrusion Spending like we got them ends, this is that conclusion As most of you probably don't know, I'm a huge West Brom fan If you're following my Twitter closely, then you would know that What's currently happening at the club? It's raised a few eyebrows, I think it needs to be talked about First of all, I'd like to say how much I respect Tony Pulis. He's a great manager. If you want your club to stay up, he's the right man for the job. He comes in and he gets the job done. About last season, I must admit, I was surprised. To see us in eighth, there was no way I would have predicted it. At the start of the season, I would have thought we'd be battling relegation. We only had a very small squad and the players would eventually get tired. But still, I think that 10th is incredible and I thank Tony for what he has done. The main reason this whole thing started with people questioning Pulis's job, wanting him to get sacked. All started due to the drop in form over the last 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 nine games. In the last nine games, we picked up only two points out of the possible 18. You stupid. 20 oh, fucking wait, what? In the last nine games, we picked up two points out of the possible 27. I'm pretty sure that any club, that form, would get the manager sacked. The reason that Tony has stayed was due to the previous 29 games where we did fantastic and I must admit right at a point I thought we could possibly qualify for Europe. Then I realised the depth that the team lacked and the squad lacked. The form after the nine games has raised questions about Tony's, uh, Tony's job. The fans have a right to be angry. Me as a fan we have a right to be angry with how the last nine games went. Personally I, I'm not a fan of Tony style but it works and if we get wins if we get results as we did in the majority of the season then I'm I'm happy but sometimes the style of the long balls uh, just kind of bores me but it clearly works as we finish 10th we avoided relegation and and that is what Tony came in to do I can't fault him for that his style isn't the prettiest but you know Man United have uh, decided to adapt to it and they've won the trouble with it so who knows what next season may hold. Another reason why some of the fans got angry with Tony was because of his selection in the last three games. We want young players to develop. The people coming through the academy, Kane Wilson, uh, John Aliko, Sam Field, Raheem Harper, we want to get them as much game time as possible so that they can develop and they can uh, they can get experience at the top level. In the last three games, Mark Wilson played and in my opinion, that was the wrong decision. I don't know why that happened. Maybe there was a clause in his uh, loan agreement, but I don't see why Tony would have done that. If that was me making the team selection, I'd, I'd definitely give Johnny Lico more playing time because he deserves it, he needs that to develop. Sam Field played really well against Burnley, and that's what we need. We need the young players to get given a chance. You see what Marcus Rashford has done at Man United, and Mark Wilson, who hadn't played a game for the whole season, he started instead of the young prospects. What's the point of them being just on the bench? What are they gaining from that? They're getting absolutely no experience sitting on the bench and watching the game. We, they need to get out there and play. If I were Pulis, definitely for the last game, I would have I would have given Liko a chance, not the last two minutes. Some may argue that the last two minutes was enough, but let's not kid ourselves. If it were me, I'd start him, or at least put him on very early in the second half. But what's two minutes going to do? He may touch the ball once, if that. But why start Mark Wilson? I watched him against Burnley, and he misplaced so many passes. At the Premier League level, you need to be good. He couldn't pass the ball 10 yards to our players without giving it away. I'm no professional footballer, but I'm pretty sure that I could have done that. He was under no pressure, yet he misplaced them and gave the ball away. And I'd rather have Brunt playing left back than Mark Wilson. For Pulis to come out and criticise the criticism he's getting, for me, was a bit stupid. If what happened in the last nine games happened anywhere else at any other point in the season, I'm pretty sure any manager would get sacked because it's totally unacceptable. And for Pulis to criticise that the fans aren't happy with that and call them fake fans basically because he said real fans would be happy, that kind of annoyed me because he was missing the point. We weren't upset that we finished 10th. We were happy. But 
We could have finished 8th, but we just didn't because of the last 9 games. And I'm sure that's why people were unhappy. The last 9 games, there were a big turning point. Personally, I really want Tony to stay. But if he stays, we need improvements. We need big changes. Because if he leaves, that's when we could be in big trouble. Because who would know how to work with the small squad that we have? If Pulis does leave, who would replace him? There's a very small amount of people that would be able to keep us up. I hope that Tony stays and I hope that in the summer transfer window, he signs players and brings in improvements that are drastically needed to secure a long-term success of the club. And to all the fans saying Pulis out, be careful what you wish for because if he does get sacked, we're in trouble. So guys, thanks for watching and hearing my thoughts on the on the topic. Once again, feel free to comment what you think of the situation and possibly even let me know who you'd see as a replacement for Tony because in my opinion, there aren't many people that could replace him and do a good job. I don't know what will happen at the club in the future, but I know one thing, this channel is gonna get more uploads There'll be a lot of West Brom themed uploads because I love the baggies and I want to share my opinion on them and I'll try and vlog the games that I'll go to next season. Hey yeah, guys, that's all for today's video. Thanks for watching. Make sure to leave a like, rate and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video. Yo mom and yo daddy know that I put on that dope show. Show them just what man's about and they rooting for the kid. That's because I'm branching out. Gotta keep it moving. Sorry baby, I don't like to wait. I'm hungry and I'm driven. Can you please get me your license plate?